welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Sarah Sinister, and on this channel, we do a lot of things from exploring spooky locations, doing uh, paranormal investigations, and just getting involved in anything spooky, creepy, strange, or sinister in this world. I like to tell scary stories on top of go exploring. Now, if you can tell, I am in my messy car right now. I've got a whole bunch of gear, including a helicopter pad back here for the drone. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but I am packing the drone here and a fresh Red Bull uncracked. I'm actually going to crack that now. Maybe. So I am going to have a couple sips of this before we go walk around the cemetery behind me. I love this cemetery, you guys. It's right on the marsh. Um, I actually filmed a video here recently this summer. Um, it's on my other channel. If you guys don't know, I have started, just started, another channel called Raw Foot Media. It is where I'm going to be posting like drone footage and like stuff that's not really spooky related. So, um, that video, we actually went for a hike, and I'll show you in a second. Right over here, there's like a whole hiking trail that takes you down by the marsh, and it literally neighbors and follows along the cemetery here. Now, the cemetery has some new graves in it, but it has a lot of old plots as well, but it also has this beautiful church, and I figured today that we were just gonna walk around and just try to see the changing leaves because they just started to change here in New England, in Maine. It is changing quickly. So I wanted to get out today, even though I didn't have anything planned specifically, and just admire the leaves because it's one of my favorite things to do in the fall and I'm afraid that it's going to happen so quickly that I may not get enough footage. Um, last year I was unable to get fall footage due to hurricanes blowing all of the leaves off the trees before I got out there. So I am just going to try and get what I can today. There's still a lot of green so it's not even half as beautiful as it's going to be, but I figured we'd start here and then just slowly progress through the fall season, hopefully in the videos. So, um, yeah, I'm just really excited about it. I haven't gone for a walk by myself in a little while, so that's what we're doing. Well, I'm not by myself. I'm with you guys. Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Honestly, um, I just feel like when I get to sit down and talk to you guys and express what's on my mind. It helps me out so much with my own anxiety, my own, uh, it's my own way of like coping with life because everybody has things that they, you know, go through and it really just helps somebody decompress the stress and the, um, just get back to being a child and enjoying those simple little moments because honestly that's what keeps me safe on my paranormal investigations is seriously just being happy like letting the stress go even if it's out of your control and there's nothing you can do about it you need to realize that there's nothing you can do about it and then just live in the moment and experience beauty in everything because if you don't take the time to admire that beauty to admire that um the things that make you happy and they make your soul happy your vibration is going to be so low that you're going to be attached on by something or um you're going to be prone to paranormal influence and honestly in my field of expertise and what i do for a living you can't have that so I really just enjoy sharing the little things that make my soul happy and make me just smile and enjoy life. And a lot of people think that, like, I'm trying to brag about uh, 
my life or things that are good in my life or whatever and it has nothing to do with that um, it's more of me just trying to connect with you guys and 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 sharing my love for the spooky and the strange and um, the creepy so so this is my backpack that you see in all my videos and I literally have everything in here that I need this is the front of the drone and I got of course orange propellers because I just thought they looked like pumpkins so I don't know I love orange I'm gonna open this up just like this and there you have it so let's see what shenanigans we can get into I guess also, I think people are kind of weird about me, like, um, droning around a cemetery, but honestly, like, they're beautiful, and photographers go there all the time, so what's the difference between a drone photographer? There isn't. <sighs> people just don't like flying things. First to enter down this lane, these are like the rock walls here. But the hiking trail that I took in that other video is actually right down in that area, and it's a nice little hike. Um, it's called the Green Belt. And then you have the entire cemetery and the church up here. It's really, really neat. So, look at that church back there. It's so neat. Make sure my car is locked because my drone's still in there. I'm not taking that out yet. <sighs> I love fall season because I get to pull out my sweaters. But I have this new shirt. It's so cute. I'm here for the booze. Even though I don't drink, it's totally meant the other way. So I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see. Um, there's actually some beautiful leaves right over here by the marsh I want to show you guys. But yeah, this is the older part of the cemetery and we have some orange trees here. This one's still green, but it looks like we're gonna be getting some more orange here pretty soon. Some old stones. I love the colored moss that gets like grows on the stones over time. How ancient these trees look. You can actually see the marsh over there. It's not green anymore, it's going kind of golden orange. That field over there probably will be really pretty too, soon. Trees! Ooh, look, we got some golden color down here. There's some real New England color going on there. Like a mosquito trying to bite me for my sweater. It's just changing so quickly. Look at these stones over here. Sun's down in the ground. Looks like it says 1832. It was a child. And look at all of these little tiny ones.
God, I love that color. All right, I'm going to head up towards the church because there's some older ones this way that I really want to look at. Uh, 1835. It's really hard to read them. Eighteen eighty six, eighteen seventy eight. That one's from uh, nineteen fifteen. Also, when I went hiking down over there, um, when I went hiking down over there, we found remnants of a really old burying yard, an old graveyard, with stones similar to this one. Um, but most of them were so old that they were just crumbling to pieces. But that's also on my Raw Foot Media page. So, really cool. I love these. I don't remember this stone being here the last time I was here. But. I can see pumpkins over there. It's a whole pumpkin field, you guys. And corn. Eighteen sixteen to nineteen oh eight, Julia. Ooh, this one's really nice. This big big one. Israel Jordan. Oh, and Sarah. Very cool. Elizabeth Jordan. This must have been a family. trees on these. Ooh, this one's scary. This one looks like it's fallen over already. They refixed it. Ooh, look at the rows on this one. Sorry for the cars. You can see the field of pumpkins over there. All right, so this is Anne. But I just love the way the moss and the flower looks. So pretty. Well, this one actually has a little lamb on it. You just can barely see the lamb there. We have some old slate ones too. I love the shape of this one. Check out these old slate ones from the 1800s. These slate kind of ones remind me of Salem so much. Ooh, 
This one's broken multiple times, it looks like. Another Sarah, it looks like. And we have church windows. It's a church. But we'll get a better view of it when we are on the drone. But look at that field out there. So colorful.
Looking for something spooky to watch? Click on one of the videos above. And don't forget to subscribe to become a spookster and like the video.